Okay, so this is adding and subtracting algebraic expressions. The key ideas. One of the key ideas is to realise that um, algebra is the same as um, normal numbers. Basically, it's just a general way of writing normal numbers. We look what happens to normal numbers and we try to write them in the same way. For example, if I had 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, that really is, it's like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have got 4 lots of 5. Oh, 4, 4 lots of 5. Okay? So, um, and in the same way, if I had a group of things, I didn't know how many there was, it was M plus M plus M plus M. The thing is, sometimes we don't know what the number is, or, or it, could, it wouldn't matter. You can either think of it as in, I don't know what this number is, so I'm just going to call it M. Or you can think of, well, if I had another group of numbers, that if it was like 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, that's going to be 4 lots of 3. It doesn't matter what the numbers are, I'm always going to have this same sort of thing. I have four of them, and I got four of those. I got four of them, I end up with four there. So it doesn't matter what the number is, it's going to behave the same. So if I had a group of numbers m plus m plus m plus m, it could have been any number in there, it could have been a thousand or a million. I'm still going to have four lots of however many there was. And in algebra, we don't write the times, so it's just 4m. Now, some people get confused. I see this all the time where um, they think it's a power that, you know, m to the power of 4. But the only time we get a power is if I do this, m times m times m times m. And that is m to the power of 4. It's powerful. When you times, if you times numbers to get it together, it gets really big, really fast. See, if you went, you know, if you went um, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, wow, you've got 3 times 3 is 9, times by 3 it's 27, times by 3 it's 81, it's getting bigger and bigger really fast. It's very powerful. That's why it's a power. Much more powerful than, than um, just adding. Okay, when I'm um, the order for adding, when I add things, if I've got 4 plus 5, gets me 9. But if I get 5 plus 4, it still gets me 9. So it doesn't matter for adding. But when I subtract, if I've got 5 and I take away 4, I'm going to get 1. But if I've got 4 and I take away 5, I'm going to be crossing over. Hang on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I'm at um, um, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. If I'm at 4 and I go negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm at minus 1. So, um, it's a different, the order for subtracting, it matters. This one doesn't matter. Okay, now, negatives. Be careful of the rules. I see people quoting these rules and they get them, getting them wrong. Try to make sense of it. So if I've got in um, you know, a minus five plus minus three, I've got five negatives, and then I'm adding on three negatives, so I end up getting five of those and three of those, so I end up getting eight, eight negatives. And if I've got minus one plus one like that, plus a positive one, when you put a negative with a positive, boom, they cancel each other out and they get zero. That's one way to think of it. There's always many ways to think of it. The other way to think of it is if I'm at negative 1 and I've done this backwards than the way I did it before. If I'm at negative 1 and I plus 1, 
what's happening? I'm going this way, and I so I end up getting to zero. Okay, and the same thing. If I'm one, and I add on a negative one, they cancel each other out, and I get zero. So one way that I sometimes help people to do it is if I had something like minus twelve plus five. Well, I've got 12 negatives. I wish I didn't choose a big number like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I put in 5 positives. And each negative will cancel out a positive. So, so in the end, we had this battle, and the negatives won. They won by how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The negatives won by 7. So you can think of it like that, or you can think about a number line. If I'm at minus 12, there's zero up here somewhere, and I'm plusing 5, am I going to be heading this way, or am I heading that way? Well, positive, um, you know, if it was temperature, we got positive, it's getting hotter. Minus 12, and I'm getting hotter by 5. I went 5, plus 5, where am I going to be? Minus 11, 10, 9, 8. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to be at negative seven. Okay. So number line or, you know, things cancelling each other out is the best way to think about negatives. Um, if you can do both, it's, it's good because then you've got a way of checking. Okay, here's some examples. Right, so... I've got five X's and I take away seven X's, then, well, if I had five, take away, so seven, I would be equal to uh, minus two. So if I've got five X's and I take away seven of them, I'm going to be negative two X. What about this one, number two? Here, um, here I've got um, A's, I've got some A's. And I've got A's here, and I've got other numbers too. And so we talk about something called like terms. And, and we've got A, these ones are similar to each other, but that's different. So I can write the ones that are similar to each other together. 7A minus 3A. Notice I've got the sign to the left here. Plus 2. Now, I can, I can deal with this. 7A take away 3A. It's going to give me 4A. And plus 2. Now, a common mistake people make is that they add these together, but I can't add these together. I can't simplify any more. And the reason is, is because um, this value for A can change. Like, let's, let's say, say if you were going to add them together, people make the mistake. This is wrong. Wrong. People say, oh, that's going to be 6A, right? They're going to say about 6A, but what if... What if A was equal to, I don't know, 3? Then here, 6A would be 6 times 3, which is 18. And 4A plus 2 would be 4 times 3 plus 2. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2. It's equal to 14. And 14 is not equal to 18. So that's why we can't add these things here. That's as much as I can leave it. Okay? Now, this one. Now, we want to put, I've got some M's. I'll put a box around like that. Another M there. And I've got some N's. I'm putting a circle around them. And I'm taking this sign to the left. And now I'm going to write them in the order that in the, in the same order, so putting the M's together and the N's together. So I've got five, minus 5M plus M plus 7N minus 12N. I've changed the order and I've taken those with me. So now 5M to, minus 5M plus M is going to be who's going to win the battle. The negatives is going to win the battle by 4, so negative 4M. And then I've got 7n take away 12n. So imagine if I had positive 
I've got seven positive ends and I've got 12 negative ends. The negatives are going to win that battle by five. So the answer is going to be minus five N. And that's all I can say. I can't put those M's and N's together because of the same reason up there. Another thing I should say as well is these like terms. Um, X and X squared are not like. 4X and 4 are not like. Terms. Uh, they are not not like terms.